So when we have an injury that may have involved the extensors of the fingers, uh, we have to examine those uh, tendons. <coughs> Usually when you lift the patient's hand, they, their fingers won't be uh, fully extended. So then you can ask them to extend their fingers like so. And try and stop me from pushing it down. So that's extension against resistance. There are three uh, muscles that are involved in extension of the fingers. One is the extensor digiti communis, which sends tendons to all four digits. The other is extensor indicis proprius, which it, it sends a tendon only to the index finger. And the other is the extensor digiti minimi, which sends a tendon only to the little finger. So composite extension of all four fingers is only testing EDC. If you want to test EIP, you ask the patient to point. So with the other the fingers curled up, they're able to straighten the finger only because they have an independent extensor to the index finger. And then to test the little finger, you can ask them to point their little finger like this. So in summary, when I'm when examining a patient's extensor tendons, I'll ask them to straighten all their fingers and try and stop me from pulling it up. And then I'll ask them to do this for me, and I'm testing both the extensor indices proprius and the extensor digiti minimi in one go.